Glad you could join me for another watercolour painting. This one is the River Ivan in Stratford. This is just uh, clear water I'm putting on just to lubricate the piper. Raw sienna going on. I'm using my usual colours ultramarine, lemon yellow, pines grey, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. This is ultramarine going on. It's a very easy sky. Just make sure you get it all in before the paper dries because otherwise you end up with hard edges and it just doesn't look right. I'm using a large Ron Ranson hike which I probably do about 99% of all my paintings with. I'm just drying the paper before the paint gets a chance to drip too far down the page. I think the first thing I put in is the uh, church in the background. I could use a flat brush for this but I'm just using the hike. Because of the sheer size of the brush it just you just let you get on with it quicker. I should have used the sky colours for that, to, but for some reason I've used um, burnt umber and ultramarine. I think it would have looked better with the sky colours. Never mind. Not looking for any detail whatsoever, just blocking in the main shapes, just the main profile, and just leave it at that, no fiddling. Just trying to decide where the the water line is going to go. Again, uh, this is uh, some of the foliage, some of the background foliage. Just various mixes of ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, and raw sienna. All the colours used to make you a, a variety, a whole variety of greens. The more variety of colour, just the more interesting the painting looks. This is a bit darker now, a bit more paints grey just to make it a bit darker. Still just trying to determine where the uh, the water line is going to be. There's no detail in those far trees. The, the twigs and branches that you'll see are, are in the, will be in the closer, the, the, the closer foliage that I put in on the right hand side. As everything comes closer towards you, like I'm just flicking in the, a few twigs and branches and trucks now with my uh, fingernail. Remember, if you don't like the way, if you don't, if you're not happy with the way the trunks or the branches go, you can always paint over them again. It's not the end of the world. Paper stretched slightly, so I've just had to refix it on the right hand side. You can stretch it before you start painting. But frankly, I, I just can't be bothered if I'm honest. A few more flicks of the fingernail. Eventually I'm going to put a, a big tree on the right hand side.
more trees and bushes and foliage going in just trying to vary the colour now this is a really dark dark green a lot more pines grain this just using the corner of the height brush to create the profile of the, of the tree a few dabs along the bottom a few more flicks of the finger now it's very easy to overdo that but as I say you can always paint over it if it looks too much This is a lighter colour tree going in. I think that's a mixture of um, raw sienna with just a touch of light red. And this is the big tree going in. This is a, a bit of ultramarine, lemon yellow, and then lots of pines grey to make it really dark, bringing it right down. And this will be the closest tree to us. So there'll be plenty of twigs and branches. To be seen in contrast to the distant trees on the left hand side. Putting the twigs in and then just painting over here and there just to try and blend it in a bit more. Without trying to overdo it. Now I'm just blocking in a very loose impression of a barge just in the foreground here on the left hand side and it is very loose. You see what I should have done next was put the reflections in the water of all the trees but I actually forgot all about it so I'll be doing that later. I could have used a flat brush for this, it would have been a bit easier, the, the ache's a bit awkward for doing um, stuff with straight edges, but again it's, it's just a very loose impression of a barge. Here I have switched to the three quarter inch flat brush. Just blocking in the mine, the mine shape. The shadow on the barge will be on the the right hand side of the boat so I want to make sure that's a lot darker than the left.
mean, you can spend hours on detail. I prefer to just put it in with a minimum of fuss. I'm just using a card now just to scrape out a window at the front of the boat. Just put in the footpath now. Now I need to put in the reflections in the water of the trees on the far side, which I forgot to do earlier. <coughs> <clears throat> so I'm starting just by wetting the paper again with clean water. Pulling down some reflections. A bit darker now. Remember to try and keep the colour below the same as it above. It doesn't have to be exact, but as long as it's there or thereabouts, you can get away with quite a lot actually. That's a raw sienna light red mix, just reflecting that lighter coloured tree. Back to the um, I'm just scraping in some reflections of the trunks and the branches and the twigs, whatever. I'm pretty close there to overdoing it, if I'm honest. I want to do a, just a, to represent some ripples on the water. This is just a, a clean, dry brush. Just sweep it across. It just gives the effect of, of wind creating some ripples on the water. Well, that's what it's meant to do anyway. I'm not sure if that's made it better or worse, to be honest. Just drying everything now and all that's left to do is put me uh, put the signature on. Just using a number three rigger. Create an ink like mix of burnt umber and ultramarine just to Trying to keep it small and insignificant. You don't want the signature sticking out so much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.